Hi, we're the Powerpuff Girls, a team of three students from STEM for Girls, a nonprofit dedicated to inspiring girls to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. When we heard about Source America Design Challenge, we immediately knew who to contact, the Edwards Center. The Edwards Center is a facility in our neighborhood that serves over 350 people with developmental disabilities, providing them with work opportunities and job training. We toured the facility where we met with clients working on jobs from packaging dog treats, remotes, or assembling parts for classroom science projects. One of their largest and most frequent jobs is packaging boxes. We do thousands of these at one time. Mm -hmm. So we'll get an order from a company and they'll say, um, please do 5,000 of these and, and we do 5,000 of these. So we decided to meet with one of the clients at the Edwards Center. Hi, my name is Evelyn Carlisle and I, I do a lot of things. I do remotes, I do dog treats. I really like this place. I was helping your mm -hmm. do the boxes, uh -huh. and that was kind of interesting. <laughs> Originally, what happened would be that we would have a client uh, take, and they would have to line up five boxes, and they would hold them really tight, while another staff person would actually take the plastic wrap and wrap it around tight enough. Um, because the client wasn't able to hold them in place and wrap at the same time. The staff person would have to go to each person and do a set of five. That would take oh, over, a minute. over a minute. We also noticed that clients were having trouble counting the correct number of boxes in each set of five, and that the packaging process was leaving blisters on the assisting staff member's hand. While the staff was busy assisting one member, the remaining 10 members of the group would sit around and wait for the staff person to become available. This meant that the whole assembly line was operating at only one-tenth of its possible productivity. We knew right away that there must be something we could do to help solve this problem. So we began brainstorming a design based on the following requirements. The design needed to be safe, affordable, it needed to decrease the amount of time it took to package the boxes, eliminate the need for counting boxes, and most importantly, allow the client to work independently. Also, because the Edwards Center gets different size boxes, we wanted to accommodate for different dimensions. Using Autodesk Inventor, we were able to create a 3D model of our design. We drilled, cut, took measurements, and after many prototypes, were satisfied with the results. The wooden base houses the motor and electrical connections. The motor runs at 60 RPM so that the boxes can be properly banded in under 30 seconds. It's wired directly to an easily operable two-way switch at the surface of the box. Finally, it was time to show our design to Evlo and the staff at the Edwards Center. Bearings under the spindle allowed the stretch wrap to move around the boxes easily and prevent jams. The switch was strategically placed a good distance from the moving container to keep the client safe. The rotating container precisely fits the five boxes, eliminating the need to count boxes. We call this design Packy. Our client can um, have a pallet of already finished boxes and work completely independently on their own and know that they can stack it up into the machine, they don't have to count it, and they can do it all by themselves and it's safe and it's easy and they'll be able to make money faster. Evlo tried out the new design and the time it took to complete the process was cut in half. Packy would allow all 10 clients to work simultaneously instead of spending their time waiting for one staff member to go around the group, vastly increasing overall efficiency. Since one person could bundle twice as many boxes, since Pack allowed everyone to work together, the group as a whole would be 20 times as effective. Our boxes come in different sizes, and so this is adjustable. The STEM girls have made it adjustable so that we can put different size boxes into this unit here, and it'll do the same thing. So that's, that's very versatile. I like the machine. <laughs> All you gotta do is pick the boxes up, put it in the, in the deal, mm -hmm. and then let it the machine go, and then it will be done, and then take the boxes out. This will really help people with disabilities to access paid work more quickly, and yeah. then they can make more money. 
Working with Evlo and Edwards Enterprises to create Packy was such an incredible experience and we can't wait to see it in action.